Beyond the Willow Tree. Long, long ago, a family of five set out on a voyage to a new land called Everwood. Unfortunately, one day, their ship was taken down by a violent storm. In the midst of the parents trying to rescue their three little girls, they both were lost into the sea. However, the three little girls safely floated ashore on driftwood due to their parents saving their lives. The girls deeply mourned that they were now orphans, but they still had something from their mother, a beautiful string of pearls in which the oldest sister, Laura, wore every day of her life. Celeste and Catalina relied on Laura to lead them to safety and mother them the rest of their lives. And that is where Laura led them to a beautiful and mystical willow tree, starring Jocelyn as Catalina. Mia as Celeste. And Arabella as Laura. They loved this willow tree. It kept them safe and warm day in and day out. They lived here for years and years to come. Besides mourning their parents, there was much peace at this willow tree amongst the animals and birds. Unfortunately, one night, everything was going to change. Laura, you are no longer safe at the willow tree. I have watched you where I am and seen the attackers plotting to attack you. You are no longer safe, honey. Take my word for it. Wake up and go. <laughs> no, no, no! Catalina, Catalina, wake up, wake up. I had a dream. How Mom dare was you to wake leave. me up in a deep sleep? What a, this nonsense. Mom, she sent me a dream from heaven. You have to go. She warned me. Celeste, Celeste, wake up, wake up. I had a dream. I had a dream that Mom told us to leave the willow tree. We have to go. We have to go now. She warned me of it. Attackers planned to hurt us. So the girls listened to Laura and headed out. For now we must go beyond the willow tree. They trekked and ran for days upon days upon days for safety away from the willow tree. Guys, it's morning. We really need to rest now. Hey, how about that shack over there? It doesn't look too bad. This looks like a beautiful place to live. I think we'll be suitable here. You know, why do you believe such silly dreams? Yeah, I mean, this is a nice place and all, but it's nothing like the willow tree. Yeah. This dream was unreal. It was like a dream I'd never had before. It, it was like mom was really there in front of me. I can't explain it, but I knew I had to obey what she said. Hello, my name is x -Fan. I am the force that watches everything you do. The only way you can escape me is if you find a scroll that will lead you to a gem that is the only thing on earth that can overpower me. Fortunately, if you hear this sound, it is too late to escape me. I just had a vision. Oh my gosh, something's really out to get us this time. We're really not safe. We have to find a scroll. That's the only way we can survive. Where's the scroll? Where's the scroll? Come on, we have to find the scroll. We're coming. They searched and searched and searched. Eight hours and we haven't even found it. What's that? Is that the scroll? I found it, look. How about you read it?
Dear Laura, Celeste, and Catalina, my name is Allison, and it came to me in a dream that I must write this to you. There is only one way to achieve the crystal of fire, the gem that can save you from your enemies. You must trek up a hill called the Way. On the top of the hill there is a log cabin in which you must knock on the bolted door three times. A butler will answer the door in which you must say to him, I am a wanderer. He will let you in and you will see a log which on top of it has the gem. Next to it will be a flowery box in which inside you must put your most prized possession. However, if you put something in that really isn't your most prized possession, you cannot claim the jewel. Go, go soon, before it's too late. I knew it all along. Wow, it wasn't just foolishness. Your dreams really do mean something. Let's not fret tonight. Let's get some rest and we'll go in the morning. What was that? Did you hear that? Oh no. <coughs> it's coming true! <gasps>